A Minneapolis family is pleading for justice following the murder of Tanasha Austin. The 30 year old was shot and killed two weeks ago in the Lowry Hill neighborhood of Minneapolis. Fox 9's Mary McGuire spoke with her family tonight and shares their words for her killer. This is the street where 30 year old Tanasha Austin was shot and killed two weeks ago today. Tonight, her family and loved ones are begging for her killer to come forward and turn themselves in. She's big energy. She lets you know she's there. Tanasha Austin loved to have a good time and was always the life of the room. Her fun loving free spirit was stolen on the morning of March 18th after she was shot and killed outside an apartment building in Lowry Hill. To bury my sister at the age of 30 is never fair. It's not right. That is not the news any parent looks to hear. I am so broken behind this. Minneapolis police tell Fox 9 the shooting happened after an argument around 730 in the morning. The mother of two was taken to Hennepin Healthcare, where she later died. Her children deserves it. Her children and her family deserves justice for her. She deserves justice. Her family says it was her killer who dropped her off at the hospital and left her there. They are now pleading for those responsible to come forward. And it's either you turn yourself in willingly or you have people looking for you, which can end even worse. So we need justice. Her kids need justice. It's not fair that they don't get to wake up to their mother. It's not fair that my mother is grieving her daughter at the age of 30. Even though her mother and sister say they know who is to blame for Tanasha's murder, at this point, Minneapolis police are not releasing any suspect identities or photos. As they wait for answers and justice, her loved ones are raising money for a memorial and for her children with a GoFundMe page. Reporting in Minneapolis, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.